The name of this project is Wine King's Peak. I persuaded tens of importers to participate in this project and they presented hundreds of wines for a perfect blind tasting. So we are at Dorian Jin Fish Market. Dorian Jin. Yes, you having fun? <laughs> <laughs> More fun than the fish, I'm sure. <laughs> we are looking for a store. Ah, uh, yeah. 여기 형제 수산이 어디 있었죠? 아 여기. 아 맞습니다. 2인분, 3인분 맞죠? 네, 맞습니다. 맛있게 소개해드릴게요. 예, 고맙습니다. 예, 안녕하세요. So at this uh, Dorian Jin Market, you can place an order at a store. The store that I go is 형제 상회. 여기 찾으러 예 찾으러 왔습니다. 어디로 가시죠? 식당은 강변. 예, 강변 식당 예 맞습니다. 예, yeah, so this is a recommendable, very fresh raw fish store where I go whenever I come here. And then you take an escalator, you go upstairs to the second floor. 맛있게 드세요. Yeah. Now you are on the second floor. March towards. Then turn right. You pass number eight. Then you get to number five. 강변 식당 with the blue sign. This restaurant's fish soup is the best here. So I strongly recommend this restaurant. There is a cork charge per bottle. It's 1만 원. It is about eight to nine dollars. Pretty cheap. And they offer wine glasses, proper wine glasses. But before we have dinner, we have to finish our white wine tasting first. Now we taste 4, 5 man de white wine. First of all, sparkling wines. 25 to 30 US dollars. Yes, okay. personal. It's good to start with a sparkling wine after lunch, isn't it? It's good to start with sparkling wine anytime. <laughs> to brush your teeth with it in the morning and to have it with breakfast. <laughs> and to wipe my ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the wine? There was some really oaky wine in here. Was it okay oaky wine or oaky um, not oaky? The wine? very, very oaky one was actually just missed for me. All right, which one was it? The very oaky one was 647. It was very, very Riesling-y. Very Riesling on it? Yeah. yeah. I think you may be right. And what is your favorite one? Number one by far. You mean 651? Number 651. How about you? Yeah, it was very good. That was excellent. Yeah, it was yeah. very, very good. Oh, it was a really good wine. It had a small bead, so Method Champagne was. Uh, very autolytic, champagne-like. It was sweetish on the entry for me, mm -hmm. but again, very biscuity. I thought uh, they used lots of reserve wine, probably more than any other wine here. That created complexity. Yeah, and also to preserve a house style. It could be champagne, but then it's a great bargain. The one I liked the least was the 664. For me, it was too simple. For me, it was bitter. When it entered mouth, it was sweet. Very sweet. Yeah, Almost sweet. cloying. Yeah. yeah. Then it got bitter. Yeah. Not good. Nicht gut. Whenever we say something strong, we always say something in German. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we recommend this 651 at Sao Manonte. Sao Manonte sparkling wine recommendation from Wine King. 25 to 30 dollar range. Oh. Pool d'Angers et Fils, Cuvée Carte Blanche, Brut. Champagne. We said it was close. Yeah, very good price. Fantastic value for the money, yeah. Yeah, this is really good. So this is our recommendation at this price range. Sao Manonte sparkling wine. Very, very good. Fantastic value. All right, now we are going to taste white wines at Sao Manonte. Still white wine. Yes, okay. 25 to 30 US dollars. Okay, we should be able to get something decent for this. Yep, we may criticize it. Frigging sure, we're going to criticize it anyway. I want these importers to feel like they're doing a good job. I also want them to understand that we are watching them. Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. watching your asses. <laughs> One S, two S, three S. Vice wine, 670. Okay. It's everywhere. There's more in the bottle. And yeah, we probably got a backup bottle. Oh, uh, you said this is to be too. <laughs> you need a lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> and most of these things I do like these are very formal affairs. Uh, and everybody's very quiet. Yeah, serious. Yeah, serious. I'm a serious yeah. taster. And, and Don't I, bother me. And I don't see most of these 
public tastings that are done with just two people, and I never see them having fun. <laughs> so, to something new in wine tasting. Yeah. In serious wine tasting. Yeah, we're having fun. Yep, absolutely. You too, I hope. He looks very tired. I didn't talk to him, I <laughs> talked to the camera. Ah, oh, okay, I thought you were talking to him. <laughs> the only reason he is tired... It's all the know. photographs he's been taking. <laughs> because he's not drinking. No. He works for you, right? <laughs> and he doesn't drink? He right? will drink. Yeah. He will deserve it by then. Yeah, of course. Doesn't mean you'll get it, but you will have deserved it. Yeah, <laughs> so all the wines we are going to throw away, he will drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Terrible thing to say. He didn't mean it. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> it depends on how much wine we can have. <laughs> I guess that's true. I told you I learned so many bad things from you. <laughs> Man, but you're a good student. <laughs> how was the flight? Everything just missed. 694. I you... cannot promote that one. Why not? It's just too bland. Very bitter shit pineapple juice. There you go. <laughs> Let's not spend any more time on it. All right. And then, so we thought this 670 was Sauvignon Blanc or Bordeaux Blanc. I think this is Bordeaux Blanc and probably Grave. I like the wine. You know what? I'm going to recommend it. Are you going to recommend it? Yeah, I am. Yeah? Yeah. I'm happy for it. Yeah. And number 689? I didn't like it. It had a lot of structure, grip, minerality, but I guess personality was lacking, identity was lacking. I could drink this at 15 to $20, but not $25, $30. Yeah, I agree. So we have this 670. It's a serious Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, you know? no, no, it's very, very serious. I smell lots of pipi de chat. <laughs> no, I correct it. Gooseberry. <laughs> there are a lot of cats in the gooseberry. <laughs> That's right. Who got the Wine King seal of approval? She's a very, very difficult seal to get. Chateau de Cruiseau, Pessac Léonien. It's in Grave. In Grave. 2017. Yeah. yeah. Serious Sauvignon Blanc. It is. Yeah. So, at Sa o manonte, still Sa white wine. O manonte, still white wine. Twenty-five to thirty dollars. We have a winner. We recommend this Chateau de Cruiseau. Have we got still more whites or only reds now? More whites, uh, including uh, sparkling wine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now it's you eso fumanonte. You asshole fumanonte. Not you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean? It means 30 to 45 dollars. Wow. White wine, including sparkling wine. Okay. Wine number 704. Okay, let's taste. So, how was the flight? Not good. One really good wine and two wines that shouldn't be anywhere near these kind of prices. Uh huh. Is that one really good wine, 704? Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. I agree. The other two are really shit. Really shit. 704 is clearly champagne. Yeah. It's really well done. Yeah. It's a lovely wine. When I smelled, I went straight to brioche and uh, yeah, bread. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful wine. Yeah, they use lots of lots of reserve wine in it too. It's a complete wine. A complete wine. What a compliment. I think number 713 is also champagne. It's just shit champagne. I thought it was just a sparkling wine, but very simple and very bad. I could drink it at fifteen dollars, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, and I had I had no idea what this was. This is <laughs> oak essence. Yeah, I think it's a chardonnay. Oh, you think it's chardonnay? Yeah, very bad chardonnay. For and sure, it's got a hell of a lot of oak. And, and sweet pineapple juice. I'm sure they wouldn't make something this miserable in Burgundy. So no. So this seven o four. Seven o four. At the price range, you as a kumanonte. 30 to 45 dollars. 30 to 45 dollars. We strongly recommend. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to practice that. <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> really well packed. <laughs> Paul Dungeon et Fils, Millésime, 2014, 2014. These guys are good, eh? We just yeah. had one of them. So yeah. they're very good for the money. You see what I wrote here? It feels me like. The older brother of a Paul Dangjian. Well, that's fantastic, because oh. you did great. Cuvée élaboré en foot de chêne. Yeah, it was clearly okay. Yeah. It was really well made. Beautiful one. Yeah. 2014. Wow. 
work this okay shit. Yeah, what is that? Sean, I can't believe it. Pull that again for me, please. This was really shit. It's the same wine, Peter. Yeah, uh, okay, shit. Oaked, sweet pineapple juice. Nasty stuff. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. So we have found one great producer. Huh? Yeah. Oh, Paul I, want, I wonder if they imported in America. <laughs> Why are you asking the question to me? You are from California and yeah, you are American. I'm trying to, it's obviously good price point and very yeah. nice wine. Yeah, and I know for when I can use this 712. This is really. To flush good. the toilet. <laughs> No, yes. When water gets too expensive, you use this to flush the toilet. <laughs> so this is the only recommendation at this price range. Can I drink it? No, actually, I'm not drinking it. I'll drink it for dinner. I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> it wipes out the smell and the horror of those other two. It's good stuff. <laughs> Let's drink this good stuff while we have dinner. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Now we are gonna taste Shimman Wonte sparkling wines, meaning 50 to 60 dollar wow. range. Okay. I bet you we're not getting cooks here. It's two dollar ninety nine American ah. sparkling wine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So how was this flight? Very very good, but for the price it has to be. What was your favorite? Seven five one. What did you like in it? It was very complex. Champagne, brioche. This is an oaked wine. It's just beautiful. Dryish on the entry. At the lower level of brut, six, seven grams. Some oak. Full bodied, gorgeous. I thought it was at the level of a vintage or a premier crew. Anyway, whatever it is, it's absolutely beautiful wine. Uh -huh. I loved it. My highest score of the day. It's just marvelous. One of the things that you're thinking about when you drink that wine is you say, I opened that wine for that girl. She better understand that I require something in return. <laughs> something what? <laughs> something in return. Uh, like a bubble that. gum or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> you tell me about 735. It showed a beautiful raspberry, certainly uh, lots of uh, brioche and the texture was nice. It's a bit sweet, but nicely sweet. And it was a bit astringent, but nicely astringent. So it was really on the edge. Your, your notes and my notes are identical. It was good. It was good. And uh, what did you think about 749? Very autolytic, very champagne, very complex, quite dry on entry, and then very full in the mouth, balanced, round, just delicious. When I had all these, I thought like this. This rosé would be really great for champagne beginners. The color is beautiful and it's easy to drink because it's a little bit sweet. It's really easy to approach. And this one, it's much more complex, but it's much less complex than the third one. If you have this beautiful woman in your apartment, you give her this sweet romantic wine mm -hmm. and she can't get enough of that. Uh -huh. Then you move on to this one, because now she started to think about, does he really love me? Oh, this is a better one. Uh -huh. And this one is to seal the deal. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is connoisseur's wine. Yeah, yeah, the connoisseurs will understand it more, but everybody will enjoy it. So we recommend all, all these. three. All the wines are seriously recommendable. This can be a little bit difficult for beginners. Well, it's a hell of a lot of money. Beginners perhaps shouldn't start up at $60. <laughs> By the time you start drinking $60 champagne on a regular basis, probably you should have educated yourself just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they are. All right. 735. It's de Bourgogne. Really? Wow, who did it? It's Cremant de Bourgogne, four stars. Golden Blanc, Brie Rosé. They did a good job. It's not bad at all. Yeah. For Cremant de Bourgogne, it's quite expensive. But it has very, very similar style to Champagne. That's why they're charging the money. Yeah. Beautiful bottle. And then, 749. It's from the same company. Champagne, Golden Blanc, Bruit, five stars. I know you don't like these kinds of bottles. I don't, but I didn't see the thing and the wine is good, so we don't fight with that. <laughs> we don't fight with good wine. The point is what we care about is what's in the bottle. Yeah, yeah. younger people, they mean like these kinds oh, of Oh, I'm bottles. sure these people have done some serious marketing analysis. And the third one, then it's uh, Ernest Rémy Champagne Grand Cru. I said, 2012. I said vintage or premier crew, but it's yeah. actually vintage grand crew. Yeah, serious wine. It's beautiful. 
really gorgeous, gorgeous wine. So, you recommend at this price range, which is 10만 원대 wine. 10만 원대 wines? Yeah, which is uh, 50 to 60 dollars. One rosé, one champagne, one grand cru, millésime champagne. Yep, we do. So, that was it for this 10만 원대 wine. Shimanonte swine. Yeah. Shimanonte wines. Swines is pork. Not swines. Wines. Yep. 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 Wow, what is that? That is tuna fish. Tuna. Otoro. Otoro. Yeah. Salmon, of course. Yeah. And this is a type of dorat. Yeah, exactly. And this is uh, it, what's this? Skin of something. That's the skin of a uh, dorat. It looks like saba. It's mackerel. very similar. Mackerel. No, not mackerel. Croaker. Croaker. Yeah. What was this? Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best way to check. Oh, okay. Mm. Dorad as well. Dorad as well. Yeah. Okay. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Masikke deseo. Bon appétit. Ah, nice, good. Excuse me. I'm your fan. Oh, okay. His fan or my fan? Of course. Come some day. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. What did you have? Oh, otoro. Otoro. It's delicious. Oh, Is it delicious? Mm. <laughs> different level. Mm. This crocker is very good too. And we also enjoy some with it. It's very strong. Very good. There's plenty of good bubbly, so I'm not going to say. I'm 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 going to Good. There it is. Excuse me. <laughs> the day after tomorrow, we are going to enjoy even better raw fish. Really? Yeah. Extraordinary raw fish. <laughs> With my father. That was awesome. I look forward to that. He was a fisherman That's when he was younger. Totally, yeah. Yes, what most Koreans do is like that. You should put soy sauce and first and wasabi. Yeah. Ah. I love to eat like this. <laughs> So good. That it is. And we had this soup, which is the specialty of this restaurant. There were two kinds of soup, spicy one and non-spicy one. Both of them were so delicious. Peter was so deep into it that he had it eternally. 제가 선정하는 와인들 잘 구매해서 즐기고 계시나요? 여러분들께서 구하시기 편한 와인들 추천해 드리고자 우리나라에 수입되고 있는 와인들만 모아서 맛을 보고 그 중에서 가성비가 제일 좋은 와인들만 권해드리고 있습니다. 여러분들의 편의를 위해서 와인킹스픽에 선정된 와인들을 CU 어플인 포켓 CU를 통해서 구매하실 수 있도록 CU 측의 협조를 구하고 있으니 한번 이용해 보셔도 좋을 것 같습니다. 현재는 어플로 주문하고 전국 CU 점포 어디서나 픽업을 하실 수가 있는 스마트 오더 시스템이고요. 8월 초부터는 예약 없이도 CU 편의점 매장에서 바로 구매할 수 있는 와인들이 점점 많이 생긴다고 합니다. 가까이 있는 매장에 해당 와인의 재고가 있는지 없는지를 모르시는 경우에는 포켓 CU 어플의 첫 화면에서 재고 조회 기능을 활용하면 좋다고 합니다. 가까운 지역에 해당 와인 재고를 조회한 뒤에 재고가 있으면 은 거기에 찾아가서 구매하실 수가 있답니다. 주위에 와인킹 스픽 와인들이 들어와 있는 CU 편의점이 없다고요? 그럼 해당 점주분들께 와인킹 선정 와인 좀 갖다 놔달라고 부탁을 해보세요.
아직까지는 와인 같은 거 굳이 구비해야 돼 라고 생각하시는 분들이 많기 때문에 여러분들께서 부탁하시면 은 갖다 놓으실 수도 있습니다 여러분들께서 무엇을 원하는지 점주분들도 아셔야 와인을 비치해 놓을 수가 있겠죠 그럼 즐거운 와인 생활 즐기세요